are in uh, the class 9th PSL IIT foundation book kinematics chapter level 2 48th question was discussed in the previous video now I am in 49th question I will put this question in the description box but right now I am reading out to understand the question so the question says that a ball is dropped from the top of a tower of height 80 meters at the same time another ball is projected horizontally from the tower find the time taken by both the balls to reach the ground so to understand the question i have drawn the diagram of the situation here so this is a ground level and from a height of uh, 80 meters above the ground one object is just dropped when things are dropped their initial velocity of drop is zero and they travel a distance of 80 meters and take some time to reach the ground from the same point there is another body which is not dropped that is a thrown that means if an object is a thrown, that will be thrown with some initial velocity. We have to find how much time does the dropped object and the thrown object will take to ultimately reach the ground. So let us start with the dropped object. So we will find time taken by the dropped object to reach the ground. time taken by the dropped object to uh, reach the ground we will use the second equation of motion that is s is equal to ut plus a half gt square so distance traveled by the dropped object is uh, the complete height of the tower that is 80 meters uh, initial velocity is zero why because the object is a uh, dropped uh, g is approximately 10 um, acceleration due to gravity of earth so 10 by 2 is uh, 5 and this is the time taken by the dropped object to reach the ground. So 80 by 5 is 16. So time taken is a root over of 16 plus or minus but you can avoid minus. So 4 seconds. So the dropped object takes 4 seconds to reach the ground. What about the thrown object? If an object is a thrown with some velocity, we have to remember that velocity is a vector quantity. And every vector quantity can be resolved into two components. So just for example, assume that this object which is a throne, that is a throne with a velocity of u. And then uh, if the object is a throne at a certain angle theta, then this is horizontal component and this is the vertical component. Every vector quantity is resolved into two components which component of velocity works in that direction the object goes. So horizontal component is u cos theta, vertical component is u sin theta. Now this object is thrown horizontally so the horizontal component of velocity works and the vertical component of velocity is a zero in this case. So keeping that in mind we will calculate the time of descent for the a thrown object. So here thrown objects at time of descent will be calculated because horizontal component is zero. So the thrown object is also in a way kind of dropped because it's a vertical velocity is not working. So time of descent for the uh, thrown object. For the thrown object is root over of twice h by g. This is the formula that we have derived in the earlier videos where a time of ascent is calculated, time of descent is calculated and that means formulas were derived and there we have shown that time of ascent and time of descent are same. So here this is the time of descent of the thrown object is twice h max, height through which the object is falling that is 80 and acceleration due to gravity of earth can be taken approximately 10, you can cancel this, twice 8, twice 8 is 16. So time of descent of the thrown object is root 60 which is a 4 seconds. So from a particular height if an object is a dropped or a thrown both the cases those two objects are going to reach the ground at the same time. So both the objects are going to reach the ground after 4 seconds.